Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and today I'm going to teach you how you can get special Pokeballs in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In this guide, I'm going to teach you how you can get the 7 Johto Pokeballs, the Fast Friend, Heavy, Level, Love, Lore, and Moon Balls, as well as the other two special balls in the game, the Beast Ball and the Dream Ball. Also, I want somebody to count how many times I say the word ball in this video and write it in the comment section for me. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the guaranteed way to get all nine of these special Pokeballs. So if you've played for the game for more than, I don't know, an hour and a half, then you've probably already seen this guy, the ball guy. This guy is the mascot of the gym challenge in the Gala region, and also probably the best character in the whole entire game, because he gives us 7 out of 9 of these special Pokeballs for free. If we talk to him in Turfield to celebrate our new friendship, he gives us the Friend Ball, which is really good because when you use it, it immediately makes the friendship of your Pokemon much higher. Very good for those Pokemon that evolve with friendship. In Holbury, he gives us the Lore Ball, which is really good on Pokemon we fish up. In Hammerlock, when we talk to him, he gives us the Level Ball, which is really good when our Pokemon is high-leveled and the Pokemon we're trying to catch is low-leveled. Then in Stoan side, he gives us the Heavy Ball, which is really good on those heavy Pokemon, like the name implies. In Sir Chester, he gives us the Moon Ball, which is good on Pokemon that evolve with the Moonstone. Then in Balloon Lee, he gives us the Love Ball, which is good on Pokemon that are the same species as the Pokemon we're using, but the opposite gender. And finally, when we get to Winden, he gives us the Dream Ball, which is good on Pokemon that are sleeping. Now, a little fun fact about the Dream Ball. Pokemon Sword and Shield are the first games since Black and White and Black and White 2 where you could actually get the Dream Ball. In the older games, you use the Dream Ball in the Entry Forest, and it basically works like a Master Ball, so it's kind of worse in these games. So after talking to the Ball Guy, you should have 7 out of 9 of these special Pokeballs. Two more to go. Next, we're going to head over to the Wild area and start doing something called the Rotom Rally. You can talk to any of the guys in the special little gym uniforms and they'll let you do the Rotom Rally once you have the bike. This is a fun little mini game in the Wild area where you ride your Rotom bike around and you try to pop some balloons and get to the goal area as fast as possible. Once you play and complete this mini game 11 times, as a reward, the game will give you the Fast Ball. Now, if you don't really care about playing this minigame that much and you just want the fastball, try to play the quickest courses possible. When I was completing this, I saw many times a course pop up that only had me run for about 30 seconds, so if you want to, target those and you'll be done with this as quickly as you possibly can be. Then finally, last but not least, we have the Beast Ball. Getting this one is super simple. Once you beat the champion, go to Stow on side, and then go left to the marketplace. Talk to the man standing behind the counter over here, and he'll give you the Beast Ball as a reward for becoming the champion. Now the Beast Ball is actually very different than all the other balls. Instead of increasing your chance of capturing a Pokemon, when you use it, this actually has a lower catch rate than even a regular Pokeball. It makes it much more challenging to catch a Pokemon using it, although it looks very cool. So now you have one of all nine of these special Pokeballs. In these games, there is a way that you could get more of all of these Pokeballs except the Dream Ball, and technically, you could get unlimited amounts of all of them. So after becoming the champion, you could go back to the Pokemon League in Winden and fight the whole Champion Cup again. When you defeat the Champion Cup, the Ball Guy comes out of nowhere and gives you a reward. The first time every single day that you beat the Champion Cup, the Ball Guy will reward you with a Wishing Piece, which you could use in the Wild Area to start a Max Raid battle. However, every time after that, he'll give you a random item. Here's a list of the random items that you could get. So you'll see, there are the balls that we're looking for here, like the Beast Ball, the Friend Ball, the Fast Ball. However, there's lots of other junky items on here as well that you kind of don't want to get, like Ultra Balls, Great Balls, and so on. And the annoying thing here is it's all up to chance, so if you're unlucky, you could get rewarded with Ultra Balls four times in a row. Now, personally, I've done the Champion Cup maybe 12 times to try to get footage of me getting one of these balls, and I just have not been lucky enough to get a Johto Ball. One time I won and I did get the 100 Pokeball reward, which is kind of nice, but I came here specifically to get the Johto Balls, and I wasn't able to get any. And even though there's a possibility that you can get them from this, I wasn't lucky enough to get one. So if you're looking for one specific ball out of this pool of items, good luck, it's probably not going to happen.
Now another thing to note is once you start the championship, the reward is locked in, so you can't save before the last battle, win and hope to reset your reward. You'll have to go through this whole thing again to get a different reward. I'm really thinking that if you want to get all 9 of these balls again, it might just be faster to play a whole separate copy of the game so you could get all 9 of these balls guaranteed instead of a chance of getting one every time you complete the championship. So basically, when you decide to use one of these special Pokeballs, make sure it's something that you really want to use it on because these balls are rare. I would absolutely recommend that you use them for their looks rather than for their special effects. Also, if you are planning on using one of these balls, I'd recommend turning autosave off just in case you throw one and it doesn't catch the Pokemon. That way you could reset your game and get the ball right back until you eventually catch the Pokemon you want in its special Pokeball. Also, another thing you can do is use a Yamper when you throw one of these Pokeballs out. If the ball fails, Yamper will pick it up at the end of the turn and you can take it back from Yamper after the battle's over, kind of saving you the Pokeball so it doesn't go to waste. And with that, my friends, you now know how to get all nine special Pokeballs in Pokemon Sword and Shield. If this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more Pokemon content. Follow me on Instagram at PokeTipsMike, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.